KPM. Hi everyone, welcome to Success SPM 2021 with me Chris MJ as your host. And today friends, we will be focusing on Bahasa Inggris. But before that, I want to remind you, okay, COVID-19 cases are at an all-time high. So please remember to practice your SOPs. Number one, make sure to wear your mask properly, okay, from the top of the nose to below the chin. Number two, always use hand sanitizers. And last but not least, when you're in a public area, please practice social distancing of not less than one meter. Okay, now for today, the topic is pretty interesting. You know, as we grow up through life, we get many, you know, we go through many issues and problems and sometimes we just need advice or even give advice to our friends. But the question is, what is the best way to do that? Uh, so today we will be learning a lot more about receiving advice and giving advice. But before that, let's get to know today's teacher. David, we have Mr. Hanin from SMK Unku Aziz. Hi, sir. How are you doing today? I'm fine. And how about you, Chris? I'm good. I am enjoying my life. I hope you're enjoying your life yes, too. Because life is too short. Life is Let's too short. Enjoy the life. Okay? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Mr. Hanin, by yes. the way, you have been a guru bahasa Inggris yep. for how long now? For 12 years already. Wow, 12 years. But it's actually quite short compared to my seniors. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, but for me, I feel 12 years is very long and I'm very ex excited to learn English from you today. But before that, um, maybe you can share with us yep. what is so interesting about today's topic. So I was talking about advice, yep. right? And because when we grow up, we go through a lot of problems. You want to get adv give advice or even get advice. Mm. So what is interesting about today's topic, sir? Uh, because actually, uh, we want to focus at the end okay. is on the exam. Right, right, right. And also, uh, we are going to focus on the writing skill. Mm. And then one part of that writing skill include us like giving suggestions, giving ways, uh, and also giving opinions. So right. this is the part where we are going to learn about how is the best way for us to do that. Okay, got it. Yeah, and that's so true because nowadays when we give advice, we want to make sure we are polite yep. and not rude. So there is a certain way of doing it, certain words to use, right? Yep. Now, before we proceed with today's class, a class isn't a class without classmates, right? Am I yep. so, so I would like to welcome our friends on Google Meets all the way from SMK Unko Aziz. Hi, everyone. Hi. Get off mute for a bit and yeah, look, look at those. Look at my friends over here. That's right. Let's get to know my friends for today a bit better. So maybe you can introduce your name and also your ambition. How about we start with um, Faiza? Hi, Faiza. Hi, Faiza. Hi, my name is Nor Faiza, and my ambition is to be a lecturer. To be a lecturer, wow, yes. also in the education industry. Very yes. nice, Faiza, thank <laughs> you so much. And next, how about we get to know Aida? Hi, Aida. Aida? Hi, I'm Hi, Aida, Aida, and my ambition is to be a teacher. To be a oh, teacher, just like wow. Mr. Hanin over here. So we have already <laughs> lecturer and teacher. Okay, okay, that's great. Um, next up, how about we get to know Surin? Hi, Surin. My name is Surin, and my ambition is to be an engineer. To be an engineer, very nice, yes. very nice. And uh, next, we have. Uh, can we get to know Afik? Hi, Afik. Hi, Afik. Hi. Uh, my name is Afik. I want to be a teacher too. Wow, already another two teachers, one lecturer and, and one, one engineer. engineer. And last let's but not see. least, let's get to know um, Isa. Hi, Isa. Hi, my name is Isa Izwani. My ambition is to be a veterinar. Oh, wow. Very okay. nice, very nice. Thanks so much, everyone, for sharing um, your name and introducing yourself slightly better. Um, but before we proceed yep. to today's class, Mr. Hanin, as I mentioned earlier, SOPs is very important. So could I invite you to my special table over here to sanitize your hands before we begin? Is that sure. okay? Sure. Go ahead. All right. Okay. So 
I should also apply hand sanitizer as well. And for the safety of everyone in the class today, um, we'll, we'll be keeping our mask on yeah, throughout sure. the class. Yeah, because we need to be safe. Correct, correct. <laughs> now, my friends, earlier we already heard Mr. Hanin's opinion on today's topic. Yeah. But how about we get to know more on the op opinion of our SPM candidates or my friends online. Yep. But before that, how about we take a short break, sir? Yeah, yeah so because we want to get also yeah, be which student to answer the question. <laughs> <Okay. yeah. laughs> yeah. All right, so for those of you who are watching, don't go anywhere. We will be right back here on Success SPM Doplo Doplo Satu. Dede TV KPM. Dede TV KPM. Welcome back to Success SPM Doplo Doplo Satu with me, Chris MJ. And today, we have Mr. Hanin with us in studio. Hi, sir. Hi. And uh, today, we'll be focusing on Bahasa Inggris on the topic of giving advice. Now, before the break, Mr. Hanin has already shared his opinion on the topic. But I would also like to know opinion from my friends on Google Meets. What do you think of the topic? So can I get some volunteers? Anyone want to share their opinion? Uh, you can raise your hands. Aida, oh, okay, Faiza, Aida, and Afik. All right, cool. Uh, maybe we can go with Aida first. Aida, what, what do you think of today's uh, topic? I think giving advice is helpful, especially for teens that are shy to talk to adults about their problems. In this situation, we mm. will be a good listener to them who is in a trouble, and without realizing, we can help them to reduce their stress. Wow, thank you so much for that. And I totally agree with you. And who else raised their hands earlier? I think um, Faiza, right? Yeah, I think Faiza. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go. Faiza. What, what is your opinion on today's topic of giving advice? I think this topic is really beneficial to us. As we know, in the English Paper 2, mm -hmm. SPM students are required to respond to simple requests and suggestions via short communication message. So from this topic, we learn how to give advice or opinion. We learn how to use the right phrases while giving advice or making suggestions and also writing the closing paragraph. On the whole, I believe this topic gives us all the tips needed to write a great communicative message and wow. score well for part one of SPM wow. paper two. All right, thank you so much, Faiza. That's right. So today we'll be focusing on paper two, right, sir? Yeah. And last but not least, could I hear um, Afik? Afik, what is your opinion on today's topic? Uh, my opinion, I hope to learn more on how to write a better answer. Generally, I hope that I can improve the way I write to get a better mark for my exam paper. Less by penalty to respond. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, respond and write in another language uh, than my former language. Right. Thank you so much, Afik. So from what I understand, sir, yep. um, our students think that this is very important for paper two and yep. also to, to be able to get as, met, as much marks for English paper two in the essay writing especially. Am yep. I right? Yep. Yep. So um, are we ready for today's lessons, friend? If you're ready, can I get a thumbs up on the screen? All right, so okay. everyone is ready. I hope you're ready at home as well. Uh, Mr. Hanin, I, I'm sure you're ready as yes. well, so go ahead. Okay, Let's thank you very much, this please, class. Uh, mm. for that. So, might as well go through uh, our slides, right? Okay, so, so this is the topic. Uh, it's taken from the textbook because we are going to learn back what they already learned in Form 4. Form 4, yeah, okay. Yeah, so uh, uh, it is based on uh, the textbook Full Blast, Form 4, page 117. So, actually, those who are at uh, home can actually mm. refer it uh, to uh, the textbook that they have. 17. Yes. Okay. Okay. Sure. Now, so of course, whenever that we want to learn, we must have an objective so that Correct. we are clear about yes. uh, the things that we want to learn. So my objective would be state at least two important uh, importance of advice. Okay. Then we are going to listen it from uh, our uh, students over here. Okay. And maybe I'll get some from you as well, Chris. And also, sure, sir. <laughs> uh, as uh, they know already, because okay. uh, this is a writing part, so write a short response in about 80 words. Because 80 words. Uh, uh, I will also explain a little bit more on this later on, okay? So, yes, this is the word, right? Advice. Advice. Okay. So before, yes, before we get to hear the answers from uh, our student over here, why don't we also hear from you, Chris? 
Oh, what, sure, sir. What, yes. What? Uh, when you uh, see this word, so what can you say about this word, or do you have like any uh, some sort of like definition for it? Right. Advice. Mm -hmm. um, for me, I feel advice is very important in mm -hmm. life because without advice, you know, we can't improve or we won't know, you know, what to improve. So I think advice is definitely something we everyone needs in our daily life. So to be able to learn more about this, it is very interesting. Yes. So yeah, as you mentioned earlier, mm. uh, as we are growing up, we struggle a lot Correct. Uh, with a lot of problems and issues. So yeah, sometimes we need a lot of advice, and also sometimes people asking us about uh, for some advice sort of like ideas advice, for yeah. advice. So uh, can we listen to uh, our friend over there, yeah. uh, Aida? Hi, Aida. Hi, Aida. Aida, what can you tell me about Aida, advice? What can you tell me about advice? I think advice is a guidance um, to us learn uh, to go to a, uh, to have a future action to solve it. Okay, so yeah, future okay. actions, so, yeah. right? Future action. So you want to know uh, the plans that you want to overcome the problems, Correct. right? Will you ask for advice? Okay, can we also uh, we hear from uh, one of our friend also? Uh, how about? Suren. Suren. Hi, sir. Hi. Uh, I think <laughs> uh, I think advice is the most important thing in our lives mm. it will, because it will help us to improve ourselves in the future. That's great. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much, Suren. Yes. Thanks, There's always the ways to actually to improve ourselves because we want to be a better human as well. Yes. Sometimes it's for our own benefit, not just for others, because sometimes we need to be selfish as well. <laughs> yes, correct. Uh, I, uh, I can't say much about that because yeah. we need to also reflect on ourselves before we can reflect on others. Correct. Uh, okay, so we are going to continue this. Okay. Uh, this is also the question inside uh, the textbooks because ah. uh, all this while, mm -hmm. uh, people actually read uh, Reading materials. Yes, it's not in. Uh, they have like a, a very. Uh, it's either they read the magazine, the newspaper, and whatnot, right? Yeah. So, uh, do you read advice column in magazines? Uh, why or why not? And do you think the advice that they give is useful? Why and why not? <laughs> so that's a good yeah. question. So we want to also uh, ask uh, our friend over here. Okay. So if they found like certain advice they go through in their reading materials, yes. so would they would they actually, read it? Yeah. And also do they think like the advice they uh, given is useful. Uh, yeah, is useful or not. I okay. See. So just now we already hear from Surai, right? So yes. why don't we ask uh, Faiza? Faiza? Hi Faiza. Hi, Faiza. Okay. Hi. Okay. Faiza, if you read like uh, uh, an, an advice that you read somewhere uh, in the reading materials anywhere, in the, uh, it's either in the books or maybe a magazine. Okay. So uh, do you take the advice that they give? Or you find the advice maybe. beneficial? Or you find the advice beneficial? I think yes. The advice some, sometimes the advice can uh, we can improve our uh, we can improve our like our skill that mm. that we don't know. Yes, uh, good. So yeah, thank you, Faiza. Oh. So sometimes you, you. Uh, the reading materials that uh, you read. Will give you some tips yes. on you how on how you want to improve your skills. For example, you don't know how to write, yeah. and then you uh, read a lot about Writing. how to yeah. write better. Uh, ah. Okay, and okay. Uh, let's listen from from Isa. Isa, hi. Do you find the advice uh, given in a reading material will be helpful? Yes, mm -hmm. I think the advice they give uh, is useful because. Mm -hmm. Uh, sometimes they offer comfort words and suggestions on mm. how to cope with uh, your problems. Yeah, wow. I, I like that word, comfort. Comfort. Because mm. sometimes uh, when you are a little bit of uh, feeling down, you know, you feel a little bit of sad, mm. uh, words can really be uh, very, very helpful to yes, people. Yes, it, right. it can be very, very encouraging as well. Okay. Thank you very much for that response. Uh, you have done like so well. Now we are going to continue. So we are going to uh, listen to this uh, Problem okay. by trouble in Bogor. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
So uh, I think the materials also uh, they have each. So, but I'm going to read it for everyone to sure, uh, yes listen. Dear Agnes, I need some advice. I got exams coming up, and for the past few weeks, I've been feeling overwhelmed. I'm worried I'm going to fail. I have so much homework and revision to do every night, as well as my hobbies such as tennis and volleyball. That I feel like I'm not doing anything as well as I should. My cousin is at another school and during the exam period she isn't given any homework it's so unfair also my mom says i should give up my hobbies until after the exams mm. but i don't want to do this how can i find time for everything without feeling like i'm not doing my best <gasps> wow wow and <laughs> yes. it sounds like she's uh you know having some sort of problems as well yes okay so what advice would you give so now we are going to see actually an answer okay prepared uh by the books okay ah. All right. So this is the answer. Okay. The reply. The reply. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. So dear trouble, I understand how you feel. Trying to find time for your homework and hobbies can make you feel anxious and exhausted. Here are some tips to help you deal with your problem. Okay. So if you can see that. Okay. There are a few paragraphs there, right, Chris? Yes. Yes, sir. So actually, the paragraph is going to help us to write better. Right. Okay. And so also, it's going to help you with the ideas as well. Okay. Okay. Understood. Class. So pay attention. So this is actually uh, an example, yeah, okay, on so how you are going to give an advice through writing. Writing. Uh -huh. Okay. So first of all, so there's a use of connectors, which okay. I'm going to emphasize on that also. All right. Yeah. Try to reassure your mother that you can cope. So just now, the mother didn't actually like huh. understand, right? What yes, is yes. Uh, this trouble person that I'm going through? So. Mm. So this uh, writer uh, tell him to actually reassure your mother. Sometimes you need the reassurance yes, to make yes. sure that yes, I'm going to be like doing this. So you need to support my ideas yes, yes. or support what I'm going through. Okay, uh, that you can come as you obviously don't want to fall out with her. I suggest meeting halfway. How about cutting down on the time spent on your hobbies without stopping them completely? Yeah, sometimes you need to manage your time. Yes. I think that so, is so important, yes, managing time. So, uh, like, like our uh, teenagers uh, at home, yeah, right? So they need to actually uh, se uh, not separate. They need to actually like... Uh, find a balance. Yeah, find a balance as well and mm. prioritize. That's the key word as well, prioritize. Yes. So okay. you need to know what is uh, more important, right? Mm. So you need to actually allocate more time to study. Yeah. There's a little bit of time to relax as well. And maybe uh, I think the teenagers, they like to play online games. Yes, yes. <laughs> right. It's, because it's a good balance. Home, right? Study. So, uh, yes. You know, you work hard, you yeah. play hard. So you are not going to be like uh, mm. totally study 24 hours. Yes, it's, yes. It's, it's not good as well for you. Correct. Even for me, I understand yes. this. Okay. Uh, okay. So we are going to continue. It is also likely that your friend feel the same as you. Okay. So I advise meeting after school so you can help each other. You could go to a different friend's house each day and study one subject each time. Being able to study with your friend will help you feel better and more supported. I hope my advice will be uh, of some help. Doing a lot of doing a lot at once can be challenging, but the positive thing is that more the more you do it, the easier it becomes. Mm. In any case, university okay. isn't far away, so this experience now will make life less stressful in the future. Okay, good luck. Good luck. Good luck, so, Agnes. So, if you eat if you read throughout, the mm. advice given by uh, this person is like okay. very, very uh, helpful towards yes. uh, this uh, troubled person. You give a lot of suggestions. Yes. So this is what we want to actually write, how we ah. are going to write, right? Okay. So we want to be very, very positive in our reply. Word reply. Okay. okay. Now, in writing, mm. so this is our focus. I need to actually tell, I think uh, all the kids at home, they already know about it, but we need to remind them, yes. uh, these are the three part of writing that they need to do, but we are going to focus only on part one. Part right? one. Uh, because okay. there are three parts. Mm. Uh, the one they are doing is only on part one, which is on the informal message to an informal audience, like email, like informal letter, something like that, okay? So uh, this one is based on A2 level of CEFR English, okay? But we are not going to go through uh, part two and part three. This is maybe for another time, okay? Right. <laughs> okay, so this is a little bit of the overview, right? Part one is a compulsory task, so which means they know already this is compulsory that they need to do it, okay? 
candidate have to write an email to a friend in about 80 words. So how many words, Chris? 80 words. 80 words. So it's not too lengthy, it's not too short as well, it's just nice. Okay. Because this is only part one. Okay, so this understood. is the beginning of the writing task. So uh, as uh, the one who's uh, like uh, making the question, they know already, okay, uh, we need to give them the task that allow them to write. Okay. So giving suggestions is something that they do in their daily life. As uh, we mentioned, sometimes we also give advice to our friends, yes, right? Correct, so this sir. is something that they um, maybe commonly do in their daily life. So I mm. think this is a very good question uh, to ask our kids uh, yeah, to do. Okay. So for mark distribution, so we know for sure there are four main elements that we need to focus on, which is the content, communicative achievement, organization and language. I'm just saying it out loud here so that you guys know yeah, the four elements that we need to know. Mm. Yeah? So all each, uh, each one of it uh, is five marks, so the total will be 20, 20 marks. marks. So we want the 20 marks, right, Chris? Total yes, of marks. course. Yes, 20, of course. Full. 20 over 20, sir. 20 over 20, if possible, right? So in SPM writing part one assessment skill, this skill is well known by the kids. Mm. So I think uh, if you're not sure, then uh, let the teachers explain yeah, at school, explain a little bit more on this so that you will become, uh, what, uh, yes, yeah, so you have a better understanding of what you need to do in order for you to get the 20, highest mark. Yeah. Because we want how much? Five for each, so the total will be 20. Uh, 20 marks. 20 marks, right. So uh, see, all content is relevant to the task. Target reader is fully informed. So this is what we want to know for content. Mm -hmm. For communicative achievement, I just like uh, read out the highlighted words, straightforward ideas, and reasonably appropriate. That will be enough. I see. Just like our sample before this, right? Okay. It was just enough. It was just uh, the right portion. It was just the right cut, uh, the mm -hmm. right essay. Then it will be just fine. And also, simple connectors, and also limited uh, number of cohesive devices okay so these are the elements that we need to include okay and also the language of course when we talk about english we need to have uh, a little bit of uh, acquire the grammar part as well mm. we need it to be like but there's no harm actually like uh, if you have like some errors or a little bit of mistake that it won't disrupt the whole meaning it will be just fine it will still be considered at five because just now the level is a2 level it's not okay. B1, B2, or C1, C2. Yeah, for your information, Chris, the highest for CFR level is C2. 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 Okay. Uh, but this task is at A2 level. Okay. Okay. Now, so this is what I mentioned just now. It's about the elements that we need to pay attention as well in order for us to get a better mark. Because mm. just now there are four elements. Okay. Right. We have content. Communicative achievement. Yep. We have organization and language. language. Yeah. Uh, I can't focus all at once. Okay. So, but we can focus on one, right? Right. So today I take the time to actually like we are going to focus on the organization part. Ah, okay. Yeah, so that yeah. includes the connectors, yes. cohesive devices, and, and models. Models. Okay. Um. So I just have a question. So mm. this will be f like like you mentioned, we will be focusing on. Um, organization for today, right? Yeah. Okay, so before we actually go into the the next part, is it okay if we take a short break because I'm sure. still in the midst of jotting down notes? Yeah. Yeah. And for those of you who are watching at home, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this, focusing on organization for your essay. And we'll be right back here on Success SPM Doplo Doplo Satu. Dede TV KPM. TV KPM. Hi everyone, welcome back to Success SPM Doplo Doplo Satu with me, Chris MJ. And today we are learning Bahasa English together, more specific on the topic of giving advice, focusing on English Paper Two. Now, just before the break, I was taking down some notes, and uh, just correct me if I'm wrong, sir. Yep, yep. But um, in you know the marks that we are talking about yep. here is 20 marks, mm -hmm. and it's distributed among four parts, yep. which is content, community. 
Creative Achievements, achievement, yes. Organization and Language. Yep. Is that correct? Yep. And for today, Mr. Hanin will be focusing and showing us more on how we can score in organization. Yep. Correct, sir? Yep. Now, before we actually continue, I would like to also ask my friends on Google Meets, are you ready? If you're ready, please give me a yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. My friends, you have to unmute your mics because I can't hear your yeah. So if you're ready, unmute your mics and give me a yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Thank you so much. I love the energy. And uh, Mr. Hanin, yeah. uh, shall we proceed with today's class? Yes. Thank you, Chris. And also, kids at home, uh, please continue. Yeah. So just now, uh, as Chris mentioned, we mm. are going to focus more on uh, the organization, organization part, which is I'm going to um, uh, highlight on the language awareness, is, which is models. Models. Okay. So here we have this. Right. Chris, do you... Uh, so, so I have, I have yes. a question, sir. Why, wh why is there can-can? Why is there two cans? <laughs> why is there can-can? So oh. uh, it's just a, a little bit of like observation. Okay. Yes. Uh, we, as a Malaysian, sometimes we need to... We always say things double. Ah. You know, can-can. Uh, right, right. Sure, sure. <laughs> okay. So this is something that I just put it like. Uh, okay, see. just to mention on that. But that is something that we usually do. So models, uh, these are the things that inside models, there okay. are a lot of that, uh, a, lot, a lot of uh, words like can, must, would, will, should, shall, might, may, and could. So it shows a different um, things for different purposes as well. Right. Uh, so Chris, can you yes, pick one and then uh, what? Can you uh, create if, a sentence with one sentence. of these models? Okay. Um, I would like to pick... Um, must. Must. Okay. okay. So I so create a sentence using the word must. Yep. Hmm. Okay. Something simple. You must wear your mask when you go outside. Very is good. Is that okay? Yes. So uh, what is the purpose for you to uh, say that? Mm, well, I believe it is advice yes. for for everyone mm -hmm. so we can continue to fight this pandemic together. Very good. That okay. is the purpose. So the use of models will also help you to actually write a better answer. Ah. So why don't we also get our uh, students, yeah, our sure. friends, uh, to actually choose also one uh, model and then create a sentence. Okay. Okay, uh, Chris, now I give you the power to actually choose. Oh, okay. So I, ah, I get yes. the pick. Um, Let's so students, be ready. <laughs> yeah. Please are going to choose any one of you. <laughs> okay, so maybe um, I, I, I go with Afik. Afik, um, yeah, maybe you can choose your model and uh, also create a, a sentence, sentence or advice. Yeah. Uh, I want to choose... Uh, Will. Will, okay. Sure. Continue, please. Every time I go outside, I will wear my mask. Yes, I will wear my mask right, every time. So, mm. I think it's the, uh, one of the person who follow the instruction given and uh, the SOP yes. that we need to uh, yeah, follow. Thank you very much, Afik. Thanks, and Afik. Uh, who's next? Okay, next, um, let's go with Aida. Aida. Okay, Aida. Okay, what is the model? I want to choose shoot. Shoot. She chose shoot. Shoot, shoot. Yeah. okay. okay. Can you uh, yeah. continue? Tidy up your room. It looks messy. <laughs> you should tidy up your room. Oh, no. It's messy. So sounds like my mom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you, Aida. So, so that's a good has, advice. It's some sort of like instruction as well, right? Yes. So to give the purpose of like, you need to be urgent doing mm. that. Yes. OK. So these are some of the things uh, yeah, that models do, actually to show uh, some ability, to mm. ask permission, to make requests, to state obligation, to show prohibition just now. Uh, yeah. Mm. For example, do not enter, yes. right? Uh, and then to show possibility to make deduction and to give advice or criticism. So that is the key word, okay. to give advice or criticism. That is the function of model. So that's why we need to include models in order for us to get a better mark in the organization department. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh, how many words that we want to get for that particular thing? 
five. five. Uh, so we want to get that. So we need to include that because this one is like A2 level. It's uh, quite low, okay. so we need to achieve that. So in order for you to get a better marks, then you need to include this okay. in your answers. Okay? Understood, sir. Okay. So uh, this is actually the question given inside the textbook. Ah. So why don't you read it, Chris? Oh, sure. Yeah. So this is a letter that Afan wrote to an advice column of a magazine and write back giving him advice. Okay. My problem is that since I got a part-time job, I've stopped working out at the gym. As a result, I've gained 10 kilos. Okay, 10 kilos, that is quite a lot. Okay, that's quite a lot. <laughs> uh, besides the fact that my clothes don't fit me anymore, I feel very self-conscious. Yep. I, I've always been sensitive about my weight because I take after my dad and I tend to be on the heavy side. Yeah. While surfing the net, I found a great raw food diet which includes lots of vegetables and fruits and promises result. Yep. But when I told my mom about it, she told me to forget it. She says I need three balanced meals a day and refuses to let me cut meat and carbohydrates. I feel helpless and don't know who to turn to for advice. I'd really appreciate your help. Afan from Ipoh. So this is like quite troublesome eh? mm. <laughs> mm, yes. for him. This is the problem that he faces uh, because like as uh, actually the topic, uh, the real team okay. in the textbook is under the team or maybe the topic is image. Mm. Yeah. So that's why uh, the question include uh, on this because uh, as you're growing up, you are very concerned about how you uh, present yourself in front of other people. Yes. So maybe uh, this is a pers this is uh, what a problem that is very near to the kids mm. because as they are growing up, sometimes people are being judgmental towards them, right? Yes, yes. Uh, so sometimes they always feel unsatisfied with other people. You are too skinny, you are yeah. too fat, yeah. so nothing right about themselves. So mm. actually, we need to be nice people. Yeah, We yeah. need to say positive stuff uh, to other people and also to ourselves. don't judge, right? Yes, okay. Now, so oh. parts in essay. Mm. So there are elements that we need to have inside our essay. Uh, yeah? There are three parts that we need to have in our essay. Okay. Yes? Okay. Can uh, we ask our kids uh, yeah, the, sure. the, the, um, the answers? Okay, sure. Yeah, Can so maybe we want to ask Surin. Surin. Surin, what are the three parts in an essay? Uh, the three parts in the essay is introduction, body, and conclusion. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Introduction. Okay. Body and conclusion. That's good. Nice. Because area. just now we already gave you the samples mm. yeah, at the beginning of our, our lesson just now. So they know already what are the elements because they are already from five. They have gone through this. This right. is a reason for them. So that's good, Suren, because you can already say it out loud the correct answer. Because this is the thing that you need to have, you need to know in order for you to get a better mark. Okay. Because this one also falls under organization because you need to organize your ideas you must have certain part for certain things yeah so we, we need to have introduction body and also conclusion so in plan part in planning mm. this essay yeah this short answers uh, in introduction part refer to the problem and say what you are writing use phrases like so they give you suggestion what I like about this book they give you samples of the the what the sentences that you need to write and mm. include and it's going to be very very helpful so actually some of you need to uh, memorize a little bit uh, take the extra effort for you to get a better mark so i was sorry to hear that you've got problems i understand what you are going through i hope the following advice will help you so this is in the introduction part okay right okay so we go on to the second part, which is the body. Okay, give your advice and make suggestion. Use phrases like, "If I were in your shoes." What does it mean, Chris? Mm, if I were in your shoes, yeah. is something like, "If I were you, this yes, is what I would good. do." Okay. So this one is a little bit metaphorical, right? Mm. Uh, so you can include that, just to show that you are concerned about your friend, but you want. Uh, also have the same feeling, Correct. right? And uh, maybe you should do that, or maybe you shouldn't do that. 
I strongly advise you, this is a like, very common answer from uh, the kids, not just uh, <laughs> uh, at my school. I think uh, the whole Malaysia will say, yes. I strongly advise you, I strongly believe that <laughs> this is a very common answer. And how about or what about this? Mm. So these are the things that you can include inside the essay. The essay. Very good. So in conclusion part, when you want to make a final comment, yeah, you can use phrases like this. I hope everything goes well. Good luck. Let me know how everything how, how everything turns out. Mm. I'm sure you will work something out. Instead of like the uh, what a uh, very generic un generic answer, which is in conclusion uh. as a conclusion. That is, is that is very uh, what very formal answer. Because you know what? Because we are writing to a friend. Yes. So it needs to be informal. So writing like this is going to help you to write better. Mm. OK? Now, oh, let's write. Let's write. OK. Uh -huh. So what are we supposed to write, sir? So uh, the kids at home, okay. they need to answer mm. this. So we are going to give them a little bit of time while we have oh. some sort of like discussion. Okay. Guys, uh, please uh, start writing the answer okay. for question just now. Question D. Yeah. Oh, Afan's, question D. Afan's problem. The Afan's okay. problem one. Okay. Okay. So okay. we are going to go to this part uh, uh, in a little bit more. So Chris. Yeah. So as Afan just now mentioned about a little bit of the problem, mm. right? So what kind of advice would you give to Afan? Mm. Well, Afan was mentioning that because he started his part-time job, yep. he didn't find the time to go to the gym, so he gained a few kilos. Yep. So my advice would be, um, why don't you try doing more home workouts? Home because workout. we, Home workouts. Yes. Yeah, because you can actually exercise at home, you have more time. So that, that would help you with uh, getting a more balanced lifestyle as well. Yeah, so that would actually, be my advice. there's no excuse for you to actually <laughs> uh, yeah, work yes, out, right? Yes, it's yes. only uh, there's like one keyword, lazy. Lazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so a gym is a, a place to exercise, but yes. at home is also a good place to so exercise. So exercise can yes. happen anywhere. Correct, okay. Sir. So I think that is there will be enough time for them to actually prepare for yeah. the answer. And I already include uh, them here. Okay. Can we listen from Afik? Yeah, Chris, we are going to uh, listen to our friend's this is Afik's answer. advice. Hi, Afan. How are you? I hope, in a, I hope you're in a good mood. Here are some tips to, here are some tips to help you deal with your problem. OK. If I were in your shoes. If I were in your shoes, if OK. I shoes. If I were in your shoes, I will follow your mother's advice because it because with balanced meals a day, you will have a healthy body and maybe your weight will not gain too, too much. Okay. For example, for example some research, research show if you maintain balanced meals, if, if enable us, it enable us to control the fat and ensure our body to have enough nutrients. Yes, very mm. good. I strongly advise you not to take the raw food diet because your body will have insufficient nutrients as you will be eating a lot of vegetable and fruit only. Yep. I am afraid that it can be hard for your body to, get, to adjust. It's all for me. I hope everything goes well. Good luck and stay healthy. Home Afiq. Okay, wow, thank you very advice, much. Afiq. Thank you very much, Afiq. So, uh, see all the paragraph? This is a little bit of introduction. This is a little bit of the body. And this is also the conclusion. If you notice, because the, the book already gives you suggestion, phrases. Mm. So when you put include here, then it's going to be very, very helpful for you. OK? Mm. Now, can we listen to uh, one more friend? Yeah? OK, and also, I hope you are in a good mood. Uh, that's all. OK? Now we are going to listen to another one from Suren. Can we listen to Suren? Yes, sir. Hi, sir. OK. Dear Afan, I was worried and sorry to hear that you are going through a hard time facing these problems. I hope that my advice will be helpful and useful to you. Firstly, you can go for a jog or even cycling during your free time. The best idea is you could cycle to your workplace. 
this will help you to burn some calories and be more active uh -huh. furthermore you will, you will not get stuck in the traffic too okay more moreover you should have diet plan that will not be harmful to your health i guess your mom are just worried that you would not get enough nutrients i think you need to cut down on fast food and sugary food mm -hmm. hopefully my advice could help you you have to be strong mentally you should also take care of yourself everything will be okay so good luck my friend okay very good answer as well as you know mm. the interaction part the body, body part and, and the, the cohesion. cohesion part is already there and what i mentioned just now is about the use of uh, models, models right okay so could will will and could is very good to actually help us to give a better advice to our friends right okay but so before we go back to before we listen to our other friends answers um i would like to take a is it okay if we take a short break because sure. i'm also still writing my answer yeah. and uh, for those of you watching at home don't go anywhere because right now what we are doing is we are applying the writing examples yep. for introduction body and conclusion and don't go anywhere we'll be right back here on success spm doplo doplo satu Didik TV KPM Didik TV KPM Hey everyone, welcome back to Success SPM 2021 with me Chris MJ and also Mr Hanin here. Hi. And today we are focusing <laughs> on Bahasa Inggris yep. on the topic of giving advice. Mm -hmm. What is the best way to give advice especially when you're writing in the essay? And for today we are focusing on organization yep. of the essay. Uh, which can give us the highest marks, which is five marks. And just before the break, we have been hearing some advice from Afik, from Surin on Afan's problem. This yep. is a question from the textbook, am I right, sir? Yep. So the, the, the question was, the problem was, he was not really losing weight, you know, he wanted to apply a diet. And what we're going to hear next is some advice from Afik, Surin, which we have already heard. And next, uh, maybe we can listen to um, Aida's advice. Aida. So Aida, what, what, what is your advice to Afan? So now we are going to listen mm. to Aida's answers, yes? Okay. Okay. Aida? Dear Afan, I was sorry to hear that you have got problems. I hope that the tips that I am going to share are useful for you, as your health is important. Firstly, it is not necessary for you to go to the gym to exercise. There are a lot of other options. You can get involved with sports. Mm. You used to play badminton, right? I think you can join again the club. Moreover, your workplace is near. Why don't you walk or cycle instead of riding your motorcycle? <laughs> if I were in your shoes, I had searched for other diet plan that is more balanced in terms of the nutrients that I would get. Yep. Maybe you need to reduce the chocolate bars that you have been eating. <laughs> I heard that from your mom about your cooking <laughs> I hope I have been some help to you. You have to take care of your body. I hope everything goes well. Take care, Aida. Okay, that is a very good answer from Aida. So uh, we look uh, very carefully. So what are the elements that uh, she already done? The first thing is the introduction. And these two are the body and also the conclusion, right? So mm. what are the things that I mentioned just now is about the use of models. So we're going to look at where are the models that uh, he or she has been using. Okay, I can one find one here, Ken. Okay. I would, mm. this is a contraction, yeah? I would. Uh, and then there are other more in will. Maybe you need to reduce the chocolate bars that you've been eating. So that must be a reason for you to gain weight, right? <laughs> yes, so, yes. A friend would know what's the problem. Mm. So, uh, so she mentioned just now the reason for Afan to increase his weight is because he has he eats too much chocolate bars. Chocolate. <laughs> okay. So it's bad for you, yeah. Mm. So whatever that we eat, we need to eat in moder moderation. moderation. Okay. I hope I've been uh, uh, I've been some help to you. You have to take care of your body. I hope everything goes well. So this phrases yeah is the one suggested. I hope I've been uh, some help to you is also what is being suggested. 
Mm. And firstly, firstly, it is also another way to make uh, your idea connected, mm. right? So that's why. Uh, huh. So just now, uh, I have not been trying to actually give a mark. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. So why don't? So in yeah, so uh, how many marks to, would you give this to, to, to give mark? Right. So what are the elements just now, Chris? Uh, the, the four elements. The four elements. Uh, um, language. Okay, one uh, one of it is language. Uh, organization. Organization. Ah, I forgot the first. Okay, two. the first yeah. one actually I always say like this ah, uh, no, like this. Okay. C content. C. C A communicative achievement. O is for organization, and L for language. So I always la do like this. So the total mark will be twenty. Twenty right. So content. Does this question answer the needs for our fund? To do something, give suggestion. Yes. Yes. So actually, you can get full mark already. Wow. Okay. Because the content just now, you want to give yes. advice, right? So how many advice given? A lot already, a lot, right? Yes. A lot and of also content, in a very yeah. organized way, right? And cognitive achievement. As a reader, would this answer to the needs for you to reduce your weight? Mm. So a lot of suggestion given as a reader. You will be satisfied with the answers, so yes. that's why you can give five already. On the organization part, right? On the organization part, we need to include a lot of like paragraphing. Just now, what are the elements that we need to have introduction, introduction. and also body, body conclusion, conclusion or you think? Mm. And also, we have the uh, the elements that I just say models mm. and whatnot. So can give five already. Yeah. So about the uh, last one is language. language. It's on the grammar part. Yeah. Uh, I just want to mention that this one is on A2 level. Okay. So if they are doing like a little bit of errors here and there, it won't disrupt the meaning already. But if it's too gross or too much, then the marks will be like very low lah. So for this one, uh, not like very glaring. Mm. Uh, uh, what grammar uh, grammar mistake or whatnot? So can get five already. So can get. Wow, Automa. congrats, Aida. You just got 20 marks. Let's give a round of applause for Aida. Okay, now we go on to yep. the next one as well, right? Sure. Okay, this one. Okay, let's hear Faiza's <laughs> answer. Faiza. Hi, Afan. Okay. I understand what you are going through. I know you want to keep fit, but your mom didn't allow you to practice the raw food diet. Yes. <laughs> Here are some tips to deal with, with your problem. Okay. First of all, try to reassure your, ma your mom that you will keep fit without skipping your meals. Mm -hmm. You need to follow the solution based on the food pyramid. Okay. Essentially, you will get your ideal way. Yes. If you only eat fruit and vegetables, that you might not have enough energy to survive in daily. Uh -huh. I know you've been I'm not going to the gym, gym. it's just an excuse. Yes. You can go, but not as frequent as you used to. Okay. After all, you just need to manage your time better. I hope my advice will be of some help. I know it will be challenging, but the more you do it, the easier it becomes. Let okay. me know how everything turns out. Bye. Okay, thank you, Faiza. Uh, very uh, well done job as well. Yes, uh, first we need to look at the elements. We have introduction, we have a little bit of the body, and we have the conclusion, conclusion. word. So we need to look at C, C, A, O, and L, right? So we need to get all five lah, to get mm. uh, a score. So, um, so uh, here are some tips to. So a little bit of error that will be just fine. Mm. First, uh, first of all, try to reassure your mom that you keep fit without skipping your meals. You need to follow the suggestion based on the food pyramid. Essentially, you will get your ideal weight. So this one also a good suggestion. So, and then that's why I know you've been busy, but not going to the gym is just an excuse. You can definitely go, but not as frequent as you need. You used mm. to, after all, you just need to manage your time better. This is also a very good suggestion. So I think I also will be Shafi just an answer. Full marks? Full marks. Yay, well. congrats, Faiza. Congratulations. <laughs> Good job. Okay. Mm. So kids out there, don't be afraid to try. Yeah. Yeah. So you need to try out this. A lot of uh, activity like this with your uh, teachers at school. Because uh, this one is part one. So you need to be very, very aware 
uh, which part you want to get a better mark. If the question is quite easy like this, you need to uh, have the highest chance to get a higher right, marks. Right, yeah. we want to make sure we get the highest marks for this especially. Yeah. And also, I just want to say a uh, good job to yeah. all my friends on Google well Meets. Really good job. Be because um, we, what, what I understood and got from everyone was that, hey, um, it's very clear. Yeah. Everyone had an introduction, body, yeah. and conclusion. Mm -hmm. And there were good content. content. The language was good mm. as well. So good job, everyone. Very nice. Well done. And then? So okay. these are the few things that uh, I need uh, all of you to remember. The kids at school and also the kids who are watching uh, uh, this show okay. is to remember. Uh, we need to brainstorm ideas. Just now because we have already a little bit of discussion about uh, giving advice. Yes. So that's why the kids, uh, they know already what uh, we are going to talk about. Yeah? And plan your writing. Yeah? You need to plan your writing <laughs> because we need to know there are three elements that you need to look at. Mm. We must have the introduction part, we must have the body, and also we must have the conclusion. That's why we need the planning. And include connectors. Yeah? Like furthermore, moreover, and also just now we uh, learned a lot about models which is very helpful because in this case, in this type of question, we need to include a little bit of models because we are giving suggestions, giving advice mm. uh, to our friends. And then last but not least, check your writing for areas. There's no harm to look at uh, your essay again until you are very, very uh, confident that, that you don't have any areas. Because, but you know, kids, uh, mm. areas will be there but yeah. the areas that won't disturb, uh, sorry, that won't disturb the whole meaning, that it won't affect uh, the mark so much. But try to minimize, okay. try to reduce a little bit of the areas, yeah? Because wow. as a student, we need to improve from one day to another day. Thank right. You. Thank you so much, Mr. Hanin, for yep. these, these four pointers. Number one, remember all my, all my friends watching at home, you know, brainstorm ideas, yep. plan your writing, include connectors, and check your writing for errors. Always have to double check after you write everything, yes. right? For ex small typos or yes. even, you know, So you need out. to actually plan a little bit, right? Yes, so yes. give a little bit of time. Yes, and, and how are my friends on Google Meets? Are we okay? How was the class for you? If it was great, can, my, can, I show, can you show me a thumbs up? Yes, and I'm so proud of all of you. You guys did an amazing job today writing your answers as well. Now, for those of you um, are watching at home, today what we just did was we focused on Bahasa English on the topic of giving advice, yep. especially for English Paper 2, SA, right, sir? And this is the best way to get uh, 20 marks. So this is what we want to get. And I'm sure uh, from everything you taught us, sir, today, yes. I am very confident that everyone watching today will be able to score high marks for the essay. I hope that. So once again, I just want to say thank you so much, Mr. Hanin. And thank, thank you, you so you much too. to my friends from SMK, uh, Ungu Aziz. On, on, uh, look at that smile. Can, can I get a smile from everybody, please? <laughs> yes. And uh, that's all from us here on Success SPM 2021. Uh, we will see you again in future episodes. Bye, everyone. Bye.